Hello and welcome to another video here at Pragmatic Works. My name is Mitchell Pearson and in this video I'm going to show you how you can speed up your development effort inside Power BI by multiple by selecting multiple columns at the same time. So stay tuned. So something that is, I don't want to say a little known fact, but that a lot of people don't know about is that you can actually multiple or select multiple columns at the same time inside of Power BI. And for some people that have actually been working with Power BI a long time, this might come as a surprise because for a very long time, we actually haven't had this capability. I remember teaching classes on this and making jokes about why it's not available uh, because for a long time, it really wasn't there. And now it is, but it's not necessarily right there in your face and you might not know that you need to do it. So let me show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you a couple things that I want to do with columns and we'll talk about how to solve that problem. So first, if I wanted to take, I have created a measures table up here at the top, right? I have this measures table and then I have measures like this last year, year to date. And then I have a few more down here and I want to move all of these measures to that table, but you'll notice that if I grab that last year, year to date, and then I grab these other columns holding down the control key, it doesn't allow me to mul multiple select. Multi-select is the word I keep wanting to use, but can't get through my head. Multi-select. It won't let me multi-select multiple columns, right? And that's been the behavior in Power BI for a long time. But if I go over to the report or the model view, if I go over to the model view over here and I expand my internet cells, I can now actually hold down the control key and select multiple columns here at the same time. Now this has a couple of different applications. It's not just useful for the simple purpose of, you know, moving them. Now a couple of them are going to be blocked by my head here, but you get the idea. Now, once I do that, I can take those columns that I've selected and I can change and actually move them to a new home table. You can also choose optionally to put them in a display folder. I'm a big fan of creating display folders for both your columns and your measures and different categories of measures like time intelligence or marketing measures. But in this example, we're just going to use a measures table. And so I can move all of those measures here in one quick swoop by just clicking right there. And if I expand this, you will see that I now have all my measures in this measures table. Now, another thing that I can do with this multi select option is if I had like measures like total cost and total sales, total sales all time, total sales US, total sales all country, profit, year to date profit, profit, prior year profit, uh, last year, year to date profit, all of those, which are all going to be currencies instead of going and changing the currency or the formatting on them one by one by one, what I can actually do is come down here and I can change them all to be a specific data type. Now, obviously I've already given them a data type. They're not just random general data types, but you can do that here, which is awesome. And so that's really what I wanted to show you in this video. It's a quick tip that I come across on a regular basis where customers are actually not familiar with this. Hey, if this is your first time watching a video here at Pragmatic Works, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.